Hello, this video is for brass players, and I have here not a mouthpiece. So this is called an embouchure visualizer, and this is about the size of the rim or the outside of the trumpet mouthpiece. It just doesn't have the cup or the shank, and this is about the size of the rim of the trombone baritone euphonium mouthpiece, once again without the cup or the shank. And when I use the embouchure visualizer, you can see what's actually happening with the lips that are buzzing inside. Normally we can talk about what's going on inside the mouthpiece, but you, the student, can't see. So here we are with trumpet, and everyone's lips are naturally a little different, but essentially the inside will look like this. And here we go with trombone, baritone euphonium. And I don't have one for tuba, but it would be the next step bigger. So what I want to specifically think about with the embouchure visualizer is what's happening as we go higher. Because we've talked about how obviously the muscle itself needs to tighten. Not just getting tighter out here, but getting tighter in the center. We've also talked about how pulling back the corners doesn't really make it go higher, but in some cases that little stretch helps it go a little bit higher. Um, we've talked about the need to be able to roll it to go from the softer skin to the more firm skin. But the other thing that we can finally see with the embouchure visualizer is how the space that's actually buzzing is getting smaller. So for low note buzzing, you tend to buzz the entire space of the inside of the mouthpiece. And as you go higher and higher, you want to buzz a smaller and smaller part of your lip. So I might do a low note buzzing from here to here, and even though that's where the mouthpiece is as I go higher, I might only buzz there to there. You'll also see that the actual this way of the hole gets smaller too. So if you are my student and you see me in class, I do keep the embouchure visualizer here in the band room all the time. Sometimes it's awkward to get really close and look what's happening. That's part of why the video is more comfortable. But if you need to see that more, you let me know. And the other thing is if you're really struggling, we can wash this up and have the student use the embouchure visualizer so that I can see better what's going on with their lips inside the mouthpiece. Y'all have a great day. Bye.